When people give you put-offs, and for this example, we're going to say that you've gone through the process the way that I would have laid it out. You've developed good relationship with them. You've taken them through, and you've shown them different products and talked about their concerns and some of their hopes and desires and needs and wants. You've gone through that process and you've boiled it down now to a solution and you've talked about here's the solution and here's how this particular device applies to a particular application that you expressed interest in and they're all excited and you talk about the money and they're comfortable spending three to five thousand dollars and it just happens to be a thirty five hundred dollar package and then you get to the end and they say well geez let me let me think about it now you could always that you could always say well what do you mean you got to think about it We've been, we've been going on here for, for two hours. This is your third time in the store. What do you mean you got to think about it? I did all this work, and now you're just going to think about it? That's really going to help things, isn't it? OK? It probably won't help things. I can almost guarantee, for most circumstances, that won't help things, all right? But, but what we do know about the I want to think it over, I need to talk to my wife, is that it is sometimes a very real and legitimate objection, but most of the time it isn't, okay? Let me give you an example of this, and here's how I know it. I'm not the greatest husband in the world. And one of the things that I do is like I buy things, and things like just show up at my house, and like my wife's vehicle is missing, and then all of a sudden a new one shows up in her area in the garage, and she sees it and says, what is that? And I say, that's your new vehicle. Now. On one particular occasion, on my second child, that vehicle was a minivan, all-wheel drive, best minivan money could buy. I thought that would be acceptable. She cried. Two days. <laughs> cried. She said, I don't want a minivan. I says, well, you could walk. <laughs> you got choices here. Taxi, walk, <laughs> you know, whatever it might be. Not really. I mean, I, I was, I, nah, listen, I'm not that bad. We have four children. I couldn't possibly be, be that bad, right? So listen, but just so you know, just to, just to finish that part of the story, she cried when she got it. She also cried when we got rid of it because she ended up loving it um, really so much. However, with that said, just knowing how I do things, and trust me, I'm not saying that it's the right way. Ladies, I know you're thinking, what a creep this guy is. My wife's a saint. I often use the excuse, I have to talk to my wife before I make a final decision. Now, why do I use that excuse? Because I know whatever salesperson that I'm talking with cannot produce my wife right there. I mean, teleportation is, is it's only on Star Trek. Okay, you can't beam me up, Scotty, you know, and have her be right there to get her approval. I know that. So I know they have to let me get away. And it's no different with you. Sometimes I want to think it over doesn't mean I want to think about anything at all. It means I want to shop the competition. Or I want to take now notes that I have and go buy everything that you just showed me on the internet. Doesn't it mean that sometimes? Now, what I would hope is, if we learned anything from our time together yesterday, is that if we go through that process, they really won't want to do that. Now, some will, but you'll diminish the amount of people who will want to go somewhere else and to shop around because of the comfort that they're going to get and the value that they see in your relationship.